Hey you guys, it's your girl Truly Jam here and I'm coming back to show you guys what I've been working on for the past three or four days and um, the reason why it took me so long was because I had to do each coat of um, paint and put the glitter on then to seal it all in so that they'll be able to wash it. I had to coat it with resin, resin twice. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I did and um, then show you, at, tell you at the end like what all I used and different things like that. I had a girl that wanted me to do a bunch of personalized bottles um, for her baby shower. So I told her I can do more than one. I can do like a set of six, a set of eight. It, it just all depends. And she wanted her baby to have you know, cute bottles that no one else has. So I was like, okay, well, let me show, I'll show you how I do one. So of course, Avea came to mind when I thought about my boop, boop, boop. And um, I said, shoot, I can do one for Avea and then show her how it came out. So she wanted um, the bottles with the matching pacifier, um, a six piece set. So um, let's take a look at this. So what I did is, I oh, this is just a little charm that I'm going to end up putting um, an R and a crown on the back for a Vea Renee. And then it'll have a crown for a princess. And um, so the first thing I did was I coated it. So I took, this is the top. <clears throat> and it, of course... They can get any nipple they want, but that's the nipple that came with the bottle. So that's the nipple I just left on there. But I put rhinestones in an A. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me focus. Okay, in an A. And then I rhinestoned it. And this glitter is so pretty. It's not really showing how pretty this glitter is, but it's like blinding kind of shine um so and let's take this off and it's just got it like that it's just a regular bottle and she can take this off attach it to the bag or you know keep it for a little bracelet for a van when she get older a keepsake so then i covered this with tape and packed it um at the top with um paper towel and then I took it set my fingers here and I painted the Mod Podge on first so I did it all over except for here because the girl she wanted a, um, a clear window to where she could see the milk I don't know if my niece gonna like this but um, I know she probably want to see the measurements also of how much she's putting in the bottle so I just left this little strip window and how I did it was I put a strip of tape and I um, left it like that and then I kept going all over the bottle until I got um, the, the the amount of glitter that I wanted on there then I took um, I have a Cricut you guys so I can write out any name to put on the bottle any words you want my little miracle you know anything to put on the bottle and the girl she's getting more than one thing on each bottle is going to say different things but it's going to be blinged out and glittered <clears throat> so i just put did the cricket put the vinyl stencil on there of an a and painted the mod podge after i got the amount of glitter la layers of glitter that i wanted and then i stenciled it with mod podge again and put um <clears throat> A different color glitter which is a pink glitter I don't know if you guys can see this but it's so cute okay I turned off this other light and you can actually see the pretty glitter and then I found um, these little stencils that was so cute with the gold um, crystals on them so I took them and I wrote out a bear's name a v a y a and I thought that was a really cute touch. And how I did that was um, you never put on the rhinestones or anything that you want on there until you put on your last layer of um, resin. Let me close this up. Until you put <clears throat> on your last little layer of resin 
and then you take it and add, when it's tacky um, for all my resin people that knows <laughs> about resin is um, a hardener so that the mother will be able to wash the bottles um, no you cannot I wouldn't put it in a dishwasher I won't say you can't but I would just hand wash these because I did seal them I sealed them all the way around even here you can see the shine from where I sealed them um, to where it won't come off I even sealed this this part so she, the mother will be able to wash the bottles and you know do all of that so yeah you guys that is so cute and then because she want pacifiers also I um and she loved this she loved it but I took the pacifier let me see focus Okay, and I just put an A on there. I don't know if you guys can see that A. I put an A on there, and then I add on my last um on my last set of coating it with the resin. I let it get tacky, and then I stuffed the rhinestones on there. So these won't go anywhere. And the reason why I use um, resin is because when you use that um. E6000, it has a strong smell to it. And I would not use that on a baby item because the smell is there. It stays there for a long time. And I just don't think that you should have a pacifier in your baby mouth and she, they're smelling and smelling that resin. I mean, not resin, but the, um, <clears throat> the E6000 because it's kind of a strong smell. So I always use when I'm doing a baby product or anything like that because I make matching bottles with pacifiers for my diaper cakes. All I can put your baby face on a bottle. But um, I always use, what is it, um, resin and not E6000 on baby products because it doesn't have a smell. Once this dries, it does not have a smell at all. You can't smell any resident residue of any chemicals or anything like that and that's safe for baby anybody that's using a6000 to put rhinestones on the baby pacifier i wouldn't use it in the baby's mouth because that smell really doesn't go away at all and i wouldn't think it's safe for you to have this in your baby mouth and it's right up under your nose and they're smelling all that toxic film um because i can barely take it when i'm doing my craft so i definitely would use that on a baby product so yeah, you guys, this is what I've been working on for the last four days. And I must say, I love the outcome. I mean, I've did bottles before to match the diaper cakes, but I've never did this much <laughs> glitter. Um, and I never had to coat it in resin. Um, so, because I used a stencil and it was like a vinyl adhesive and it doesn't come off. It was a permanent vinyl adhesive. So the mother was able to wash the bottles and all of that. So, yeah, you guys, I would like for you to tell me what you think about this. Um, any questions, leave them down below. Um, the comments also. And um, tell me what you guys think about this. If you guys want to see me make it when I start making this girl's order, um, I'll ask her if it's okay if I can show you guys um, what I'm making for her. Because, you know, I don't want her to think, you know, I'm just going to ask her because she's my client and... Um, <clears throat> I'm making it for her. She might not want everybody to see what I make, but if I make an initial one, I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to show them the initial one and not different words she wanted to say on her baby's bottle. Um, yeah, you guys, um, I'm on Facebook, um, under Caressa's Charms, the C-O-R-E-S-T-A-S -S space C-H-A-R-M-S. And I'm also on YouTube. Of course, I'm going to upload this to my YouTube video. That's why I said Truly Jam. Because that's my um, name on YouTube. And it's T-R-U-L-Y -T space J-A-M. And I'm always uploading videos on there. You guys go by and check it out. Um, and if you're my YouTubers, hi. And um, yeah, you guys like, share, and subscribe. See that thumb up button. And also hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I'm making different projects and you want to see what's going on. Um, so, yeah, this is all I had to show you guys. Tell me what you think. 
And as always, you guys, have a blessed night. Bye.